about how to stop the ripening process for fruits and vegetables. Now, sometimes you get a good value on maybe a bunch of plantains or some. Hi everyone, my name is Uza from Uza's Food Labs and welcome to my channel. If you haven't subscribed already, please click on the link below so you can follow all of my culinary exploits. Last week I showed you how to make a spicy condiment blend and then I got an email from someone who watches the channel and she wanted to know a little bit more about how she could use the condiment blend. So this week I'm going to be showing you how to use it on some fish in a little um, foil packet that is actually a healthier option than frying. To start with, get the condiment spice blend and smear it liberally on the fish. You can use this, if you're doing this with chicken or steak, you can poke little holes in your protein and um, smear the mix on top just so you know that your marinade gets into the meat but you don't really need to do this with seafood because seafood is much much more fragile okay now making this in a foil packet because it's a very very good way to retain moisture and flavor um, people do it with parchment paper as well if you would like um, but I prefer foil because there are no mistakes now once we have that smeared we're going to add, add liberally the seasoning mix. Now, did you know that dry seasonings stick better to moist and wet surfaces, which is the reason why if you're making french fries or plantains or frying any of those things, you, will, you should season after it has come out of the oil because the spices will stick to the moist surface. So I'm adding the spice blend on top of the moist surface because this is going to make it adhere a little bit better. And then season the other side. Now we're going to steam this fish. It's a healthier way to go. So you want to secure your foil packets by folding them into each other and then sealing one end. I've got a steamer here. So I've got plain water in the under part of the, of the pot and then I've got the steaming surface here. In an ideal world, I would like to get the nice Chinese ones, the wooden bamboo steamers, perhaps next season. And then just put your foil packet in there. Now it is seafood, so this is going to need to steam for about five to seven minutes. Don't open it. And another reason why I love cooking with this method is it can go straight from a steamer onto the plate in the foil packet. So we're just gonna wait until it's ready. Now that our fish has been in the steamer for about seven minutes, I gave it a quick check and left it on for another minute and now we're going to plate up. So, I like fun, colorful plateware. Just makes food a little bit more interesting. And then, just for a little bit of garnish, I have some parsley, but I also have a slice of lemon and a slice of lime because some people like to add the acidity to the fish. So open pot and then very carefully use an implement of some sort to take your packets out. I have hands of asbestos so things hardly burn me anymore <laughs> but for everybody else please use something to lift the packet out. Now remember I told you about how I like to also have no stress food. Seafood is also very delicate. So once you've cooked it like this, if you start messing around with it, trying to get it out of the packet, there is a possibility that the fish will break. So right out of the foil packet, I simply open it and you can see that that lovely condiment blend has done its thing. I wish you could smell it. It smells so fragrant right now. And I'm just going to leave it in the packet, but I will tidy it up a little bit just by folding some of the extra edges like so and give myself a little foil plate of sorts so to serve i'm going to add a slice of lime and a slice of lemon to one end and i've got some parsley here for some garnish and just put these in the corners some people like to eat garnishes, some people don't, but it makes the plate look pretty. Now you can serve this fish dish 
on its own if you're watching your weight you can add some roasted vegetables or even a side salad but you can also make some fragrant coconut rice with some jasmine rice and serve this on the side or you can serve this with some chips as well there's no limit to what it is that you can have with this but this is definitely a healthier seafood option until the next time that i come your way again have a wonderful wonderful week to catch up on all of the recipes and videos that I have, as well as keep in touch with all of the fun things that I'm going to be getting up to in my lab, please subscribe to my channel following the link on this page. You can also follow me on Twitter at Uzo's Food Labs, as well as on Facebook, Uzo's Food Labs, and my blog, which has the rantings and ravings of a mad scientist in the lab. The address is www.uzosfoodlabs.blogspot.com about how to stop the ripening process for fruits and vegetables. Now sometimes you get a good value on maybe a bunch of plantains or a 